The Spin-Off Podcast Network. This is Kiwi is back for a brand new season with more inspiring kōrero from special guests including rugby player, father and role model TJ Peronara. My family bring me joy. Rugby brings me joy too, but it's not the same joy as my family brings me. And global dancer and choreographer Kirsten Dodgen. For some reason people think I'm very intimidating. Listen to the new season of This Is Kiwi, brought to you by the Spin-Off Podcast Network in collaboration with Kiwi Bank. Available now wherever you get your podcasts. Auto insurance can all seem the same until it comes time to use it. So don't get stuck paying more for less coverage. Switch to USA Auto Insurance and you could start saving money in no time. Get a quote today. Restrictions apply. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Welcome along to The Real Pod. My name's Jenny. I'm joined by Alex Casey and Duncan Grieve, uh, who is sitting with how many cans of taurine fizz in front of you? I've got a, I've got a, I've got a half litre of sugar-free. I've got a 250. And I've got a um, probably 200 ml of black coffee. <laughs> it's going to be a good pod. I'm ready to go. We actually um, had some technicals. We, I have to feel like full disclosure. I have to be honest with everyone. We had some technical. Don't, they don't need don't. to know. They don't. They don't. They don't. We had no. I mean, now listening to this pod, assume from here on out that we've already had three runs in it yeah. <laughs> before the version that you're actually hearing, and it's fine. Okay. It's good for us. Okay. All right. I'm, I know nothing. Um, anyway, here we are. This is your reality <laughs> TV recap in real life for New Zealand podcast. And what's happening? What's happening? We're here because of. We've got to talk about Nando's. Nando's. I was there was a, to... there was a... Yeah, we're here because of Nando's. We're here because of Nando's. We exist because of Nando's. We live to serve Nando's. That sounds like a yeah. really good school slogan. The Nando's School of Chicken. <gasps> Imagine that. Nando's University. But Sign me they, up. They must, have that. they must have that for when you join Nando's as like a chicken chef. You probably go away for a year to learn the craft. True. Well, Alex recently went over, not me, the good one, the Nando's one, the chicken one, mm. um, to some sort of Nando's HQ somewhere, and there was a gorgeous slogan, like, etched outside that was like, it's the people that make the chicken. <gasps> Whoa. How good is that? I mean, it's true on a practical level. And Gave me chills. On a metaphoric level. Man. Amazing, eh? Wait, what would the spin-off slogan be, or the real pod slogan be, if it was etched into anything? Whoops. What was it? <laughs> Samuel Levi. <laughs> uh, today's news is tomorrow's oh, yeah. newspaper. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely our slogan. <laughs> also, we tried, I think. <laughs> At least we tried. Yeah, I love that. At least we tried. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, yes, thanks, Nando's. Wish I could eat some. Haven't had Nando's in such a long time. Makes me we'll pretty homesick some. thinking about it. No, we've been down this road what? in the last few podcasts. Is it not allowed? I don't think that it, I don't know. I mean, it travels well in an Uber Eats kind of a fashion, but I'm not sure about um, an over the over the seas fashion. What about a wrap? It's basically already parceled. It's true. <laughs> Get that going. It's like a tight wrap, you know what you I mean? Just stick the, Very tight you just stick the stamp on. Like you could careful. vacuum seal it. With the tortilla. Do you know what? There's, look, I'm telling you now, there's no way that a delicious Nando's wrap would make it through customs because the customs officers... Well, not with that attitude. They'd eat it. They'd eat it. Oh, Why true. would you pass yeah. up the opportunity? Of course they'd eat it. Do you reckon they, they eat all this stuff? Of course they do. Right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, the other stuff? Uh, yeah. Say Hell that. yeah. <laughs> I just remembered another Nando's thing. I put my pyjamas on the other day. Good start. <laughs> Well done, Alex. Is that the end of the story? Because <laughs> I don't know if that is a Nando's thing. And there was something stuck to my butt, and it was just... Oh my God. It was that little sticker that just says... <laughs> ribs. <laughs> from the top of a Nando's one. <laughs> and that works because of the block as well, of course. Oh, my it was God. Like, yes, ribs. How did that get there on my PJ? We should send ribs some ribs. Right. Oh, my God, we should. And we should send some... Um... We could just walk them up. It's so close. Can you feel it? It's so close. Oh, it's so I walked, close. Like, I literally walked right past it last night, like underneath the thing. we got to do it. We should just... Where we, yeah. We should... We like... do a live pod. <laughs> yeah, we could do a live pod from the bus stop right outside. Yeah. 
We don't do enough live pods from bus stops. What we could do is, like, we rediscovered an old piece that I wrote in the early 2000s about when I rifled through the block's bin when it was in... And what did Mark Richardson say? No, I think it was in, like, Hobsonville Point. Meadow Bank. Oh, no, 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 no. This was prior Before to that, that yeah, primitive spin-off. And, um, yeah, we used to be a bit more gorilla. We did. What did Mike Richardson say? Oh, that was last year's one, eh? He said, are you sure these people didn't steal anything when me and Jane were in Hobsonville so good. Point? I mean, we did script it for him, but he was, he was He was really um, good. He was. It, ch- it changed Sport. our opinion on him mm. a little bit, didn't it? Yeah. Just for a bit, though. He's good now. Okay, our hashtag is hashtag RealPod. We're on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the Pod. Our Instagram is at the Real Pod. And uh, on today's podcast... We're gonna be in the cranny. We're gonna be. <laughs> we're gonna be in the corner. We're also on Simone Anderson's Instagram. But more about that in just a minute. Here's the sting for real news, guys. Stand by. You're gonna sing along, Alex. No, I got roasted last time. <laughs> 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 I heard. I listened back. I'm not as good of a singer as I thought I was. I don't think you went for it. It's really hard <laughs> when you're doing it blind. Anyway, the sting's ended now, guys. So here we are in real news. <laughs> I just opened a chair on my computer. Is this a monkey holding someone's hand? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it in the corner. Um, can we talk about the spin-off, spin-off members club? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Go, Duncan. <laughs> I, I, this is all I've been doing all week. I, I almost want you to explain it. Just no, because like, I botched it. I've already botched it a couple of times when civilians have asked me about it. Don't ask me. So the spin-off, okay, so the spin-off members is this new initiative. We have got to basically like just uh, develop a real connection with our audience. Deep touch. Um, yeah, yeah. Like just, just get involved, go steady. So the idea is that you... Give us some money, any amount. You can you can be a member for like a dollar a year or um, a million dollars a year, whichever of the two suits you. Um, but anyone who spends eighty dollars a year um, minimum will also get a copy of the spin-off book, which is going to be really really freaking amazing. And Toby Morris has done illustrations. Toby Manhire has edited it. Alex Casey has written a really, really cool thing about New Zealand reality TV and why it's, it's it matters and it's uh, that that is worth the money alone. Definitely an eighty dollar <laughs> oh, no. piece of writing. <laughs> yeah, God, um, and it's basically for us to have some money that um, we can. Jane, Jane Yee's written. Of, a, Jane Yee's written. Jane Yee's written a piece. Jane Yee's written a piece. That's true. That's right. About about the yeah. you being there. About the block. You were being there when the block shat itself. It's yep. also a fantastic classic Thank piece. You. I'm just. I mean, I just thought you just. It's basically the story of the last mm. five years, and so you get that free, and you basically get to support what we're doing so that we can do more of it. Because right now we basically have to rely on commercial partnerships for the most part to be able to do anything, and we want to be able to kind of talk to our audience, say, "What would you like to see more of?" and they sort of collectively fund it. We listen to them. We think about what New Zealand needs, and we go and do it. And it's gone. What Excuse is going me. on, Alex Casey? Don't ring me from Australia. Who are you ringing? <laughs> oh, from Australia? I gave someone from Australia your number. Oh, I know it's NASA, right? She seemed really nice. Anyway, so the spinoff members. It's really good <laughs> if you go to the spinoff.co.nz forward slash members, and don't don't worry about that. Uh, have a look at it. It's it's a real cool, buzzy thing. We'd really, really appreciate your support at whatever level you feel comfortable with. Uh, yeah. I Cheers, think it, mates. I think it would be um, quite handy to put a little slice of the pie aside for a Duncan and Alex real pod trip to Los Angeles, California. Mm. I think that's, that's a great idea. I know. I wonder if it might be seen as misuse of funds by everybody. <laughs> I don't know. I reckon the Cornies would be into it. We could start well, we a side like fund a cor- by the Corny member club. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, if the Cornies like really show up to this members thing, God, who knows? Well, the, there there is an open <laughs> field in terms of what you want to see. So if you want to see that, put it in. Mm. Man, it'd be great to have a, 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 a Corny roadie. But it's not just Duncan and Alex. Tina would have to come too. Oh, of course, Otherwise, of we could document it all. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I don't travel anywhere without Tina anymore. Do you call it a roadie if it's a if it's a flyy, a planey, an e- still a roadie? Mm. 
Because there's that You're road right. at the start right. of the plane, the long straight road, yep. and then whoosh. Okay. Up, up and away, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, touring's kicking in. <laughs> Just in time for our big Kerry oh news of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I have not seen this Kitty news. Okay, Kitty Takanawa, the lady who, oh, you know who she is. She's got to be rich though, right? <laughs> is my point. She's got to be able to wear whatever she wants by whatever designer she wants. Would that be fair? Whoa. Oh my God, this, Whoa, this, this is, is awesome. Whoa, this is one of the best headlines I've ever seen. I didn't see the story. Okay, so she's wearing a sheet. I know, this is just something oh, that you do every day, right? This is just a Alex Casey life hack and Kitty Takanawa's onto it. She you wanted a dress. Click onto a new story, Alex. <laughs> she wants. I just wanted to see what. The, oh, when you said I don't Grace see the story, Alan looks I thought like you now. were like, I don't see how this is a story. This is just normal. <laughs> <laughs> but Kelly kind of wanted cool, a high cool, hydrangea dress. She's not been able to find one, and so she got a, hide, a sheet with hydrangeas on it and had it turned into a skirt. But can we read the headline? Because it's magnificent. Please do. Dame Kitty Takanawa presents prestigious singing award while wearing a $38.50 bed sheet as a skirt. <laughs> That's perfect. That's up there for headline of the year. Okay? Yeah, CB. Honestly, I think they... they <laughs> CB! I think they put too much information oh into it. Speaking of CB, he's on the front cover of the Herald today wearing like a rhinestone encrusted uh, pilot cap <laughs> and like um, Why? reflector aviators. And he just looks so cool. Is it an ad? No, it's just like a profile of CB, and that's just obviously like a publicity shot he's got done. He's like, man, this you've is seen this one where he's the godfather of the internet. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, very yeah. good. He, um, that he private book. messaged me once. What? I'm just gonna see if I can find what? it on Facebook. He just like Facebook messaged me one time. <clears throat> and like a sort of a hi. Hey, I don't think way, so. I don't think he was sliding. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm just gonna have a have looks... see if I can find it in the um in the dungeon okay, story idea. Have you got a story? Well, don't, don't tell the internet. No, no, I just think bed, like, remember the Natalia Kills, Willie Moon oh, bed sheets? There's oh. a couple more and you got a listicle. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, anyway, um, that's quite cool that Kitty Takanawa did that. Fuck that's yeah. That's awesome. Let's talk. Two badges already a day. I'm like, what more can we give her for that? No, this, the, oh. Queen? Law, law? Lady? No. What's the. Governor, Look, governess, dame, dame, <laughs> dame, lady, princess, queen. Lord, what's the female lord? Lady, lady. No, but that's that's the. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what's the female sir? Dame. dame. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, she needs something more for that. She should be on the money. Yeah. Like a thirty-eight dollar fifty <laughs> note. <laughs> One off edition. <gasps> Can we do that? We should get into like minting money. Adrian <laughs> Orr. I reckon he'd go for it. He seems like a pretty chill. That's the current governor of the Reserve Bank. He's the man. We can make real pod like Bitcoin. <laughs> you, we actually could. Why don't we? Like people, they make the dumbest Bitcoin. Guys, the, the dumbest you could buy a cryptos kitty. now. <laughs> put it on the, the list. Kitty. Put it on the to-do <laughs> list. Right? Oh shit. There's okay. So much to do. Oh, um, there's someone in the corner will be able to do that. <laughs> Celebrity Treasure Island. <laughs> I gotta keep you on task. Oh my god! We can't honestly Big do a news. whole podcast on courage. We could do a whole podcast on courage. Oh shit! That was like fifteen minutes on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so Lily McManus. <laughs> we talked about her. Good. Shane Cameron, uh, Maddie McLean. We talked about all these guys. Sam Wallace. Oh, did you see my Sam Wallace bit that I put in? That I put in the uh, in the doc. The, in, in the, the document. Doc. Yeah. Uh, where is I'm it? I'm going to play it. What? I'm so going to try, can't try have, and use my device. Oh, yeah, play it. Okay, ages it. ago, Sam Wallace made a boo, a boo, um, on boo boo on the, uh, the the breakfast show, and I happened to be watching it, and I rewound it and recorded it and put it up on YouTube, hoping it might go viral, and it didn't. But I'm <laughs> th- I'm going to play it for you now as soon as I can find it. Just that is the quintessential real pod story. Yeah, just talk amongst yourselves. This is like this. This is cool. Uh, we were we supposed to be talking about. We've got to we've got to think of the corners. This is not good content. No, yeah. no. I'm gonna. Right, I'm hey. going to. Do you want me to play it, Jane? I'm gonna. I can play it properly. Ooh. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 
Where did it go? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Are we going to hear it? I think so. I think that's the whole point of what I'm trying to do here. Okay, okay. open link. Here we go. Just keep chatting. Thanks for sticking around, Corny. Oh, Corny, yeah, I'm so this sorry. Is this tough. is terrible. I hope you hit the Why 15 forward a couple of times there. Oh, no. Okay, I just think we just have to move here on. Here we go. We've only got about... Here we go. If you, you, you keep saying Shh. it, but... It... I'm bringing, skating with Sarah Jane and Rachel a little bit here this morning. Um, you're you're going to retire, Sarah Jane? Yes, this is my last year skating. It's a real shame, because I was thinking that... Did you see any potential in a, in a threesome kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> That might have just made it to YouTube. <laughs> Any potential at all? Okay. You guys wouldn't have heard that, eh? Didn't hear it. No, he's no, trying to make it. It's the mic. Basically, he's talking to this little girl. Well, when I say little, I think she's like a teenager who's doing some ice skating, and she, he's doing like a live cross for the breakfast, and he says to her, "You know, is there any potential? Do you think for a threesome?" Oh my god! Oh my like, god! He was like, he was talking about himself and the like. I don't know. The, her and her dance part, her skating man was like, it was really bad. And then he was like, oh, this is going to make it to YouTube. And I was like, it's too right, it is. It did. <laughs> well, it's seven hundred and eighty-two <laughs> views, baby. And two thumbs up. <laughs> so the people love it. Oh, uh, anyway, sorry. That probably didn't sound like we had Duncan and Alex <laughs> been able to hear that while I was playing it. There would have been fits of laughter. <laughs> As it was, you had to explain it to us immediately afterwards. It's so that good. really is. I should never this is a professional great. podcast. Yeah, it's really good. Apologies, I forgot that you couldn't hear that. Anyway, uh, back to Celebrity <laughs> Treasure Island. Uh, there were a couple of people that I had to Google. Who's Lana Van Helt? She is a runner and she's an influencer. Oh. Like an Adidas kind of influencer. Okay. Sport tea. Uh, um, that's all I know. Has that Guildford got a D, two Ds? Guildford, yeah. Oh, I didn't know I that. I mean, I hope so. Okay, we talked to, um, so he, he's an, an all black or an ex all black. Moses McKay from. Love him to bits. From uh, yeah. High Hopes Solomio. for him. <coughs> Gary Freeman. I think it's a great cast. I think it's just a great, great cast. Gary Freeman was a very cool Kiwis captain back in the, the day. Athena Angelou. Flavour. Yeah, okay. I didn't, I didn't hear, haven't, don't know, never heard of him. Carl Burnett. <laughs> didn't like Rare's photo. <laughs> Sorry. Just laughing at the content. Uh, Carl Burnett's a huge get, obviously. I think that he's fantastic. It's okay. Awesome. Rosanna Arkham. Yeah. Who? Oh, the GC. Really cool. Love this. Yeah. From oh, okay. the GC. Yeah, yeah. I remember her more from the very fight. Very famous? Really famous on Instagram. Yeah. Like, like huge. Oh. Okay. Lady like says hundreds of thousands, maybe four hundred thousand. I think it might How be millions. How is this Australian person that's ringing me? Oh, answer them. Answer it is one hundred percent NASA. No, no, it's calls. not. It's, it felt like it was a business opportunity for you. <laughs> okay, well, I'll ring. <laughs> not <it> anymore. Right? <laughs> I have money. I have credit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait. <laughs> but she was calling me like a lot yesterday. Okay, she seemed nice. Well, if I get a call with like a very, very long number, but imagine what, how early it is it. in Australia as well. Have Maybe you? No, okay, that's not right. On the radio. She shouldn't be calling. No, we don't should be calling you this early in the morning from Australia. Just text ahead. Give me a heads up. What's it about? Who are you? How what do you, you want? Give me a heads up though, <laughs> like a text. Yeah, got my phone number. Yeah. Send me a text. Oh, me to send you a no, text. No, just whoever. Anyone. It's just someone. Please well, you're text allowed Alex. to call people. Not me. <laughs> okay. Back on the island with Lady Six. <laughs> yeah, cool. great, great. She's That's amazingly great cool. Jodie Rimmer? Yeah, I like... Also great get. I just really th- like Jodie Rimmer. I used to go out with her cousin. She was so funny in that... Uh, Melody Rolls. <laughs> the Christmas show, the basement Christmas show. Yeah, Yeah, incredible. that was the last time I oh, saw her. Oh, not Melody Rolls. I saw her on Waiheke Island and we had a nice <laughs> ch- conversation. Did you? Yep. That's basically Celebrity Treasure Island right there. It was, actually. Shannon Ryan. Shannon Ryan. Yeah. Back from Where's City she of been? Angels. Has she been City here? City of Angels. Oh. Yeah. You kind Did of, you guys just take it You've done a live swap. You're doing the holiday. Holy because shit. Because she's, wasn't she on um, C4? She was, yeah, she was. She's basically stealing your um, life. Mm. Career. Yeah. I don't know. You're just I feel like she's, she's done a lot better than I have. I was never on the blog. No. So. Jane should be on Celebrity Treasure Island. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. like, should be on a dance floor or an island somewhere, for sure, 100%. You, 
Like, you, you would be a very logical yeah. to be on. If we didn't know you, right, and yeah. you were on this list, we'd be like, oh, my God, great. Of course. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. But I feel like because you're on the real pod... I, f- I fucked up for myself. Yeah, you, you can't you do have. anything. Isn't that bad? Because you can't be trusted. <laughs> not with the information. What do you mean we can't be trusted? I would not last. I would probably not last the first day on If, if you were asked, would you do it? I don't. I honestly think that I'd be so shit and just shame myself out so much on the television. Oh, yeah, for sure. But would you do it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Obviously. Take note. Um, okay. Uh, bachelor mansions for sale. Maharangi. Yeah, we got to buy it, as the corny said, <laughs> once we've got the museum <laughs> just really, really humming. How much is it? Do I? I feel like all the cornies put in like 50 bucks each. How much have we got in the members' club? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's going yeah. all to good stuff. <laughs> How much do they want? But it is kind of crazy. It's also sad though, because does that mean that it's like. Well, I guess they'll just find another mansion if they ever it do It has tainted, again. though, isn't it? It is a bit cursed. Because Jordan Major once went there. That's all right. Jordan yeah. Major went to my house, and my house is still all right, isn't it? Isn't it? And then exorcism. Oh. Well, I mean, do you still live there? No, I left. Mm. Say no more. It started smelling funny. Facilities include self-contained on-site cottage for extra accommodation, probably production office at the time. One bedroom apartment on top of the three car garage, heated pool. Uh, sorry, what? Pub. The what? The three car garage? Pub? A full pub. Full pub. <laughs> Fuck. What's a half pub? <laughs> Featuring pool table and bar. Cheers oh, to so that. Oh, that is a full pub. I want uh, that. Okay, full wait, wait, wait. Go, it's where we put an office in there. Yeah. Shut yeah. up for a second Marble and staircase? let me talk. Shush. <laughs> Shut. This new LA Jane no, is really. I was just taking um, taking cues oh from God. the block, but um, LA three Jane. car three car garage, mm, one each, name. you know, and then yes. Tina can yeah. be in the cottage. Well, <laughs> no offense, yeah. no offense, Tina. Tina's <laughs> going to be in the full pub. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, <laughs> fully, one hundred percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's actually it's meant for yeah. us. It's a very nice match. Okay, we're buying it. Paul's good. Please donate. Oh, that's where the dog washing happened and so on. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, so many a lot of things moments. happen there. Um, mm. Claudia had, had a little chats with Naz, right? Yeah. That's dog right. Age. None of this is looking familiar at all right now. <laughs> looking I think the, the decor was... Like, so how did different. we not see the full the pub? The full pub should have been the where everyone did not hung. Feature. Was like, Fuck, that's a nice full pub. That is actually a full <laughs> yeah, pub. Yeah, that's... Like look that thing? It. Does that come with it? Hopefully. Look at it, everyone who's listening to our audio <laughs> podcast. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. this okay. It's fine. Moving oh on. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, already okay. The next right. thing. Crazy. The next thing we've got for you to look at <laughs> is Simone Anderson's Instagram stories, uh, in which Alex Casey on the job has taken a screen grab of um, a slide where she was. I guess she was in the podcasting in that very again. studio, right where you're Does sitting she do right this now. This is a job. Right where we're sitting. Huh? But does she come in here on the regular? Well, yeah, because you know how we started renting out the studio? Mm. So the the network that puts out Art and Matoodle's pod mm. is also doing Simone's new pod. So she's in here just like us, sitting in the studio, and she did an Insta story and managed to capture our lovely woodpecker sign yeah. that says hashtag real pod. And that went out to her audience of 300,000. It's and the best now, marketing we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> how many new, st- how many new, how many new uh, listeners have we got out of that? It's a good question. Well, 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 I, well, yeah. I think the servers are overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> we can't actually Obviously check. It's... <laughs> it was literally like you also had to pause in the middle of a boomerang <laughs> to see it, <laughs> but I got there. <laughs> um, I'm, I feel like we invented podcasts in this country. Why is everyone else doing so well and we're not? Well, well no, no. We're, A, we're doing really well. Um, so take that back. Okay. And B, we made it cool. <laughs> And then everyone jumped on the band wagon. <laughs> it's a real street. So, but I'm stretching. No. <laughs> and that is the end of the real news for this week. Unless you guys have anything further to offer. No. Blown out my pits. I need to blow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can do that while I'm playing the reality check sting. Go for it. I have four ways to discuss. 
decided I'm going to drop my entire f life for you. I am disgusted at how much you have copied my husband. <laughs> okay. First item on the agenda is Somebody Save Me, which I haven't watched. So, Alex, you better get back oh. to the microphone pretty quickly, my friend. Oh, Alex. Come on, Alex. The state of you. Come on, Alex. Come on. You've got to talk about Somebody Save Me. Oh, I haven't seen it. What? None of us have seen it. <laughs> Cut that out. No, no, no. Yeah, I just put it in the dock to be like, just a bit of... Yeah, I'll tell you yeah. what, some, cor- some well, cornies... Okay, no, let's watch it and then talk about it next week. Okay, some cornies are rating it, though, so that's good. They like it. What, what? I watched the start of it. Okay, and? But I didn't get to the part, I didn't see any zombies, so I was a little disappointed. But it was just sort of Laura in, like, some sort of headquarters looking at screens, being like, let the games begin. Oh, that's good enough for me. I was intrigued by that. I was intrigued by that. She's it's definitely cool. got a future as a, as a host, I think. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And, Based on vibe. And a dancer, and a singer, and a comedian. Not fair. Just saying. Hardcore slash, yeah. yeah. Send her off to one of those schools for talented, ch- I was going to say children. But I think, that's, I think that adults? might have been where she's been. Oh, she's been. Okay. Sure she got her talents. <laughs> <laughs> Based on reading an unpublished Sam Brooks profile of her. Coming soon Love. to a spinoff. Mm. Dot co. Dot Love. Okay. When you finish, finished. Are you ready? Let me know. Done. And you put com. You can just do spinoff.com, can't you? Yeah. It'll take you there. It's crazy. That's you true. can do that oh, from LA. I can. Dot com. <laughs> feel international. <laughs> spinoff.com. Maybe we should move there, like symbolically, to show how flash we are now. I think. Mm. Or. I think no. Move to dot net. I'm really enjoying this kind of podcasting where we can't hear each other every 10 seconds. It's great. I, I can hear you. I can hear you fine. We're not having any problems. Okay. Just ignoring me then. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Love Island UK is so good, apparently. Oh, I yeah, it's it. my note. That's all I have to say. I am upset. Like, I watch it every single day and I love it so much, but I know that you're not watching it, so there's no point in me talking about I'm it. No, I'm just because I'm, watching, I'm oh. watching the block when I can, um, when I get the screeners sent through to me, and I'm also all freaking in on Bachelor US, Bachelorette, sorry. Um, and somebody's trying to get me into the mental all, and I don't know if it's going to work, but. <laughs> Can you imagine? Somebody. <laughs> Somebody's trying to get me in. Can you imagine if I got to go to a, a men tell all? That would, that would be, be amazing. So incredible. Uh, Who, who's trying to get you in? Like a person? Someone who follows me on Instagram. <laughs> oh, wow. come on. That's amazing. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, I'm just like, that was me like sp- spraying champagne all <laughs> oh, over the dinner table in shock. It was very much like you were laughing. <laughs> and trying not I'd to. I would admit that it is a sound I've used in other contexts. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, her but husband, her husband, her oh, husband is a the cameraman and he's in paradise at the moment, apparently. So, unless she's lying oh to me, which would be stink, but I'm sure she's not. Anyway. Fuck, we should start lying. Watch this space. What? Uh, drag. Um, yeah, I'm loving Love Island. I love Maura. If people are watching, they'll understand. It's just so good. It is, it's impossible for you to catch up though, so just don't, don't bother. But it's great. So do you watch it on the internet? I watch it on 3now.co.nz. Apparently it's rating its, um... Bottom. Trunks off. <laughs> <laughs> on the telly? Yeah. No, 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 no. On three now. Um, Doing very well. Well, it's interesting because, like, my dad watches it. What? Joe's dad watches what? it. What? Because it's, like, it's like you just sat down for the news, you know? You might as well just watch Love Island. Oh, my friend Dan cuts it. Cool. From the whatever it is, an hour eight down to 42. I, I um, bumped into him on Lambton Quay, <laughs> as they say, in, in Wellington, and um, and he was telling me all about it. Oh, it's like it's a big, crazy. brutal cut because there's so many fucks. Yeah. Oh. There's also there's some sexy stuff. Like, oh, yeah. But not heaps. Like, it's pretty. What I love about it, for the most part, it's like super chaste and just quite dull <laughs> but that's what i like about it it's just people like milling about having chat hang on it's Ooh. great isn't the whole point of it to be like sexy and rude and that's why you watch it it is but because there's so much of it you know they can't be doing it all the time i did i know you said you can't play catch-ups but i watched the entire love island australia after the after the fact i watched it all um wow binge watched wow it. yeah it was so that's, much yeah. there's so a part much. of me that wants to once I have a reality where I can watch all of Love Island in a week, mm-hmm. like like it's a, like it's my job. Yeah. Because mm. well, you could watch a week in a day very easily if, if you committed if to the If the real pod yeah. just takes off any time soon, then that could be a reality. Well, what do you mean? Like it, 
it, I feel like you keep saying things that imply that a real pod is not the most popular reality TV podcast in New Zealand. I'm Zealand, trying to throw people off is. the scent. I'm trying to throw people off the scent. I'm trying to make them think it's small so that they feel part of, you know, something unique and niche. I don't want anyone to realise how big and popular it is. How much? The way basically like the edge. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. But audio. <laughs> Okay, Drag Race All Stars <coughs> Five is coming in December. Just a bit of news as well. It's quite a long way. It's quite a long way it. to wait, isn't it? It is and it isn't. This is a big criticism that Drag Race gets is that they're just churning it out now, so you get no reprieve from Drag Race. And All Stars should really have like a decent couple of years between it, so you actually bank up lots of good talent. Yeah. But instead, they're just dredging up. They're doing an All Stars like once a year, and it's frankly, it's mad shit. Right. <laughs> That's very frank. Let's get in. But I'm also so excited. <laughs> like I don't, I don't mind at all. Let's get I'm also going to drag fest if any cornies are going. Get at me I've in the DMs. Duncan has to go. On 10 I know. Minutes. Well, That's why we need to get on 15, to the block. Fifteen minutes, but well, let's get, let's go to the block. Okay. Oh my god. Um, I was right about the food sponsor thing. Subway are a food sponsor. No, you were Nailed right. It. But I think they came in late. Duncan oh. was right about something even bigger than that, though. Huge. So big. So right. Ugh. This was up there was when I was right about John Campbell going to TVNZ. True. Man. I can believe it. I mean, I'm not going to listen back, but I'm sure I poo-pooed the idea. Oh, <laughs> there was a lot of poo-pooing <laughs> on the part. We definitely poo-pooed. We shut you down. Um, but you were right. So what were you right about, Duncan? I was right about intruders joining the block for the first time in that mysterious fifth really bad looking apartment at the bottom. I like it how intruders get to come on but they invariably are basically just ruined from the start and have no mm. shot. No, because everyone will just gang up against them. They, they gang up and then they hate them and they always get sort of you know, they're coming from so far back that there's no chance of winning. So it's a just a raw deal. There was one time. Is it even that far back though? It's just one <laughs> room. <laughs> well, no, because they're not. Are they if they did they come in this week? Because I haven't actually oh, true. seen the mm. very last episode. No, it's, uh, surely it's no, Sunday. No, no, no. It'll be too, so, so they'll be two well, behind. Kids and guest bedroom. Maybe it's just a one bedroom basement. <laughs> uh, do you think they're going to be previous contestants? Oh. I've been looking at the silhouette. It's definitely two girls. It's two girls. <gasps> Cause it could be Chloe and M. Unless it's uh, Lingo Zing with the long hair. Mm. No, I don't. I reckon it's two girls. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Sorry, what? What? No, it's just your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little froggy Somebody. in my throat. <laughs> a little wee, a little wee froggy. <laughs> it's exciting though. I'm loving the block. It's yeah. like. It's really great. I, did, I couldn't I'm, really. I dropped off last year because I got kind of bored with it. But this one, I'm just going to commit. I just love going home. Love Island, the block bed. <laughs> just don't think, you know. You don't have to think. You don't have to do any, you know, scrolling through Netflix. It's just get it done. It's definitely yeah. the kind of show love that it. when it reaches the end of the season, you're like, what? What do I? What did I used to do with those four nights a week? What do I do now? Crazy. But no, no, but no, no, but it's fine because Love Island and Zed will start and Celebrity Treasure Island will start and Married at First Sight and Zed will start and we'll be mm-hmm. happy. That's true. Finally. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's get into the week that was. So we started off uh, with the room reveal of the guest bedrooms and I'm so gutted that Lisa decided not to use <laughs> her dirty neon sign. <laughs> dirty sign. Yeah. Because imagine because Shelley what, stepped in. Imagine what old mate Bonham would have said about that. He had a oh lot to God. say as it was. Does he like anything? Um, no. I think suspenders. We know what he does. He doesn't like mustard. He doesn't like pink. He doesn't like wood. He doesn't like black from that last time. He doesn't that, like black. Um, he doesn't like harsh lighting, but who does? <laughs> she doesn't like throws, which is a huge call because there have been so many throws being mm. thrown yeah. about this season so far. <laughs> so we're only a couple of weeks in. Anyway, um, one also as Lisa pointed out, you just if you don't like a throw, just don't just move it. Throw it, just throw throw it. it outside. <laughs> outside. <laughs> um, there was a really cool bit where Mark Richardson narrated someone swiping a bank card as a bit of a sponsor shout out, and it was like a one swipe <laughs> of the TSB card, and it was over the shot where they swipe a card. I just I think that the, um, they just like have no qualms now about being really, really super heavy-handed with the sponsorship. There was a cluster, I wrote it down, there was a cluster where in like five minutes all they did was sponsorship stuff. They were farmers and carpet court and they did a Subway 
sponsor. I've called it a sponsor slam. So I'm going to be on the lookout for sponsor slams this season where they just wedge a whole bunch of them together to just get their content out the way. Okay. I wondered about, you know how they some, some of them wear like the More FM t-shirts and stuff? Yeah. Or like the Tower Insurance t-shirts, but the millennials don't. Mm. Like they are actively wearing their pastel pink sweaters, etc. Wow. But then I wondered, I was like, to make up for it, I noticed last night they were doing a lot of shelling for Lighting Direct. You know, like, I don't, is it like a, you have to do a certain quota each week? Probably. Or, oh, Because those boys jumped into that More FM singlet faster than you could even bloody turn the cameras on. Like they were in that singlet from day dot. And I love that. Theory that you don't have to wear that stuff, but you can. And like the millennials have got a lot of clothes and want to look cool. But some of the others are like, I don't want to ruin my nice clothes, so True. I'll just wear the sponsor's yeah. clothes. Yeah, True. you can always see they, they tend to start, the cooler younger people tend to later on in the season when all their good gear are, is wrecked. That's okay. when they start pulling on the polar fleece. So, just so, keep an so eye out. if you're in all black, at the start of each season, you get to go into this room where there's just like everything the sponsors make and you just can take however much you want. So you can just like stack up 10 pairs of shoes and Whoa. like five phones. It's like amazing. It's basically the only reason why I still have a dreams of becoming an all black. <laughs> um, why are you laughing? And I think that they've got like a real budge version of that on the block, like a room with like some real teddy <laughs> polar fleece and yeah. some mouldy subway and you're just like, yeah, let's go. Hey, I haven't noticed, have we got a, um, we don't have a, like a building product sponsor yet, have we? Placemakers? Placies? Oh yes, there was a placey lady who came in, but it's definitely a minor sponsorship. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely way down uh, the ladder. Also, the the placemakers is miles away. Placemakers Cook Street. It's a great placemaker. It's real, real tradey vibe, yeah. but not very retail. Yeah, yeah. But it's a long way away from Kingsland. That's true. Can, I reckon they sneakily go to that bunny. They just definitely it's do. So close. So close. So here's what. So convenient. Here's what I reckon is tricky for whoever has to sort out sponsorship for the block. Obviously, it used to just be like Bunnings and Freedom. That's it. Bunnings, Freedom, and Wild Bean. Tick, tick, tick. Yeah. Go for lunch. And now someone is working really hard for all this scrappy sponsorship stuff. It's real intense. Well, I think also, again, not to harp on my All Blacks knowledge, okay. but they used to just have like Steinlager and then they added on like bloody Adidas and AIG and suddenly they've got like a freaking battery mm. sponsor. I think they actually do have a battery sponsor. And I think that all of that sort of reduces the equity and means that you have to pile more in. But I think you make more money mm. that way. Mm. And that's what, what the block's doing is just, just filling it out. The block is the new All Blacks, the All Blacks. Yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> parallels, I have to say. Anyway, uh, let's get on to the room reveal. Um, Stacey and Adam, apparently a bit nannerish. Uh, bad idea to paint the bricks, which I totally agree with. They got 13 points. Yeah. Um, mustard's out, by the way, so just stop putting mustard on anything, anyone, anywhere. Yeah, it's, I thought of you two and your mustard. I've thrown it out. I've burnt it. I've burnt it. Have you? Yeah, yeah I don't wear mine anywhere. I've gone back to my colour from the season before, that bright orange one. Mm. Yeah, mm. I've got a bright orange Hi-vis. too, Duncan, so... Yeah, see? Perhaps we can try that out. Um, anyway, yeah. <laughs> the uh, Ribs and Lisa, they they did the pink wall. Um, that freaked Jason <laughs> right the fuck out. Made him feel sick. He was not into it at all. They got 9.5. He's so dramatic. I love it. I love Jason. Yeah, I do I too. such a funny People are like, oh. You should... <laughs> People. Can you get Jason to come around to your house and critique it? Oh, my God. Story? That is amazing. 100% do it. Well, he did critique. Me and Sam did that for the promo last season. Letterbox. We had to make the letterbox, yeah. and he absolutely destroyed yeah, us. It wasn't like, a fucked up letterbox. It's so fine. It's, it's crazy. fun. It's eclectic. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a well-known fact amongst everybody in New Zealand that Ethan and Sam... Um, sorry, that Bonham doesn't like wood, and Ethan and Sam did a, a kind of a wood feature wall thing which mm. look it's been done since the very first block way back Ben and Libby ben, ben and Libby did a, a like a natural timber wall um, so it's yeah. it's not a new idea but for whatever reason this time Jason comes in he's like I don't mind the wood so I feel like if anyone can win over Jason it's those lovely charming boys they are so charming <laughs> I love so Ethan and Sam charming. so much they got a 14 oh man so their little bunny photo was weird though <laughs> <laughs> it made me kind of cry like like they just they're really trying yeah. to do like styling things. I, I, I don't even know if it was a bunny it was like it was a hair 
It was like a real fucking massive, like not like a not, not a like cute a cute little bunny, bun bun. like a, a wild bunny that's like <laughs> looks you dead in the eye while it eats your like expensive flower, and you're just like, I can't really deal with this. Like it was a fucking oh, hard out bunny. Yeah. It wasn't a bunny. It was a it was a wabbit. I it was a bunny. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Just take it yeah. off the wall. Just take it off the wall and put take up your lovely wall. neon sign. Okay, Sophia <laughs> and McKay, um did a bad paint job, but a oh, lovely room. Man. Awesome styling. Got fifteen. Won the room. Hooray! Everyone's yeah. hating on them already. Okay, a nice room for five seconds. They <laughs> just you have to tear it all down. Yeah, they decide they're not gonna um, change. They're not gonna steal away anybody's house. And everyone else also decides they're not gonna steal anyone else's house. And so that was just a little great big nothing. It's kids. Yeah. It's kids' bedroom <laughs> week this week. They got to book, book, build some bookends, um, and they've got to use some wallpaper. And what else? Some timber. They got to make something with some timber. There's a lot of like little extra bits and pieces to think about. I love Lisa. I love just. I love hearing Lisa's plans when she's like bookends. So we're gonna get plaster cast our hands to be on each side of the books, and it's gonna look a bit funky. <laughs> I just love it. Lisa is so I cool, love though. Lisa and Ribs. She's really and though. she's really yeah. offended by the choice of wallpaper that was given to them. And her plan for that is to rip it up into balls and like crunch, <laughs> just crunch it up into balls and put it in a rubbish bin to show the judges what she thinks of their design. That's gonna so go good. well. That's eh? gonna go real well. I love. She's so antagonistic towards the judges. Like she's like, I don't care what they think. Who cares what the judges have to say? It's like oh. I was kind of <laughs> the entire thing. Yo. <laughs> um. Ethan, they've got the safe, by the way, so we to, we'll, we'll reveal all about the contents of the safe shortly. But Ethan and Sam are going full extreme home makeover in the uh, kids bedroom. Mm. Finan's pole, oh, yeah. mezzanine floor, bug rock beds, climbing wall, rock climbing wall, a thousand ways to kill your child in one room, <laughs> and so permanent as well. Like yeah, a fire pole and a mezzanine and a rock wall. It's just the kind of thing that someone who doesn't want a combination of all those things would walk in and go. Well, fuck, that's a headache, isn't it? <laughs> or if they don't have children, like, annoying. Yeah. Which but is most say, people. He, he did like, you know, you can use the pole when the kids get a bit older, that, that fireman pole. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. Don't do that. That's heinous. <laughs> <laughs> I actually reckon it's worse if you do have children because I wouldn't want my children in that room. Like, that's just, they're going to kill themselves. I want to be able to send my children off to their rooms and not worry about them killing themselves, you know? Falling mm. off a mm. mezzanine floor or... A rock climbing wall, all the but let's there's the three different ways that they can fall. Four if you count the fireman's pole. Guys, I have to go, oh. <laughs> and I'm really worried because I'm pinging, and oh I have God. to go and talk to like a finance company and be normal. <laughs> Not like a finance company who like the things. coffee and the yeah five hundred liters. Yeah, of it's going great. Meals of fizz. I'm way up. This can you good. please Channel record it. the audio? Uh, how do I go and be normal? <laughs> just, it's just going to be real rough. You got it. <laughs> can you record oh, it for next week's podcast? Hopefully Cheese can talk me down. <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned. I was just like <laughs> contemplating busting, like me and Tina were like looking at each other and I've got like this big can of fizz and I was going to do that like oh, cool yeah. frat boy thing where you smash it, <laughs> it on, on your head. forehead. Yeah. But I was like, I can't have like a big can slate <laughs> ding in my head when I go and see a client. <laughs> That was literally the only on, thing holding me back. You can save it for the end of the prezzo. <laughs> yes. And then <laughs> take it with. It's all right. <laughs> anyway, no, so this is going to go this great. This is the foyer. Okay. <laughs> Please leave. That's why we need members. Because I can't <laughs> keep doing this. I can't live this double life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out. All right, see you, Dunk. Oh, good. Just like that. And he's gone. Okay. <laughs> can you turn the camera around so you're Stumbling. in the centre? Alex? Stumbling out of the room. I can. I can. You. Give me a minute. That's oh. All right. There Front we go. and centre, Alex Casey. Okay. Um, Sophia Mikado want to kick where, out where the, are we? They want to kick out the wall in the bedroom that oh, they've yes. done. This became a very big deal. Such a big drama. Did it need to be as big of a drama as it became? Okay, at first. Like, how do you feel about at it? At first, I was like, what's the big deal? Just let them do their thing. Just, it's fine. And then I started to see... The other side of it. And I even thought of a, an advantage that they have that none of the other teams discussed if they were to do this. Do you, mm. do you want to hear it? Or should we wait yeah, to get there? Yeah, of course. Because we're not really there yet, you know. Oh, we're not there yet. speaking. Well, it's just, what else is there to even talk about? Oh, uh, the lighting direct challenge? Not really, eh? That was just, that was 
That was dumb. Um, that was the dumb. Safe. The challenges suck. The challenges do suck. Okay. I just love the drama. Okay, I'm just going to – okay, let's just talk about – let's just talk about that. Okay. They want to turn their three-bedroom the apartment into a two-bedroom with a massive master – um, yeah, because they feel that it appeals to executive couples, and they want the luxury of a big master. Which I am completely on board with. That okay, I'm on board with the idea. I see why they're doing it. I think it's valid, and I think it's potentially smart. Mm-hmm. The reason that everyone else is upset is because they feel that by doing that, they've already completed that guest bedroom. They've already done the jibbing, carpeting. They've got custom-made curtains and wiring and all that kind of stuff, half the job of that week is already done for them if they just knock out the wall. Right. Okay, so that's why everyone else is upset because they're like, you're already yeah. going in an advantage. You've got to pull everything down. You've got to take the jib off the walls, take out the insulation, start from scratch. The other way that they have a serious advantage if they do this is they've done a room, they've completed it, even forget the stuff that's in the room, workmanship-wise, they're using a room that they've already completed and then demolishing a wall, which means reclaiming all that extra space, which will obviously give them an advantage to win Master Bedroom Week. Wait, wait, wait. What? (laughs) (laughs) Your face is so good. Reclaiming that extra... I'm trying to think. I just find it so hard. This is my one thing I struggle with watching the block. Like... I can't, I don't figure, I don't know how a house works. Like, I don't know all the walls in there. I get so confused. Okay, there's two rooms next to each other. They're two bedrooms. They're taking yeah. out, they've already completed one of the rooms. They want to take out the wall of that middle room, wall. The middle wall so that, that those Double two rooms side, become right. one big room, right? Yeah. That's the basic yeah. maths of it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Everyone's concerned about the fact they've already worked on one of the rooms. I'm sorry for everyone who's listening to this who understood what I was talking about. I've just got to do this <laughs> Um but I'm also saying they've done that room, they've been judged on it, and even after they take yeah. everything out, they've got extra floor space that has already been judged. Like the physical, you know, the fact they're going to have a massive, huge master has got mm. to be an advantage when it comes to the judging because it's going to be huge and luxurious. But that floor like, space wow. has already been judged. So how can you just, like, go, okay, we're going to have, you know... Do you see what I mean? Well, I need to, I need to get in someone's ear. But about they, this. It'll be a rejudge. It'll be a rejudge on a space. Because it's going to look judged. completely different, right? Yeah, like but re- they're getting extra floor space, and who doesn't want a bigger master? Like a bigger master is definitely going to do better than a tiny little pokey one. Walk-in wardrobes, massive luxurious ensuite, yada yada yada. Yeah, yeah. But then they're also sick. Oh right, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I see mm. what you mean. That space has already been judged. Otherwise, why and not just knock that. down? Why, otherwise, when it comes to living room yeah. week, why not just knock down the walls, make a massive living room, put them all back up again, do something else? I mean, it's, when does, yeah. where does the craziness end, Alex Casey? It's quite hectic. The thing that freaks me out, which do come up in the block collective, and and I was I was proud to see the builders, you know, stand their ground, but like the waste of it just freaked me out. You know, it's like sitting in a shitty, freezing cold rental planning to scrub the mould off my ceiling and seeing these fucking people build a beautiful room and then tear it down. I know that it's a TV show, but it still fucks me off. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely a charity case right there who could do with your lovely carpet. Mm, mm, I'd love it. Just wrap, wrap me up in it. I'll make it into a jacket like Kelly Takanoa. <laughs> Great callback. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I, I, it did turn into like just the hugest... I. I was talking to Joe about it because it's like the editing was interesting because I feel like no one was the hero, you know? Maybe Ethan and Sam, I guess, were kind of the heroes or the most sort of, well, I don't the know. the least dicky. Kind of diplomatic, yeah. But everyone kind of came out of it quite bad. <laughs> I really lost respect for Sophia and McCarty in that, especially when McCarty told, uh, first totally. told Adam to shush and then told Stacey to shush. Um, yeah. They weren't really rudely interrupting him. It was a kind of, you know, a tense conversation and he just kind of, I don't know, he shut them down. And then afterwards, do you know what I'm going to say? No. When he said it was mostly the girls who had a problem with the situation <gasps> and he yes. said, you know, it's Lisa and Stacey and Adam who's half a girl anyway. And I was just like, yeah. mate, that's the end of – I'm not voting for you for people's choice. Pipe down. Shut He's Yeah. I I thought they were going to be super chill those two like I thought I was I was rooting for them and I've changed my tune. 
to take that to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just love I love Ethan and Sam. I like I also liked I feel kind of bad. Sophia's clearly like very stressed out and emotional yes. about the whole situation. And when she like kind of burst into tears and was just like, I'm going to resume. <laughs> it was really it was like her happy place. Like she's got to go yeah. there to just surround herself in some calming blues. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I have an issue with, I'm just getting on my um my high horse. Join yeah. me up here if you Do will. Uh, the dressing of men in women's clothing for using the pink uh, ladies' toilet. Like what? What is going on with this show? It was so. I was just like, don't do this. Just don't. People. You just don't. Like, just, just don't. don't do this. It's that whole idea, and I guess it's like because they have to fill so much content. But the idea of like forced wackiness. You know what I mean? Like how they put the wigs on and all that. It's just like it's it's. It's it's an ugly side of like that kind of a show. It is, but I think but that they always I, resort to cross dressing for some reason. Yeah, it's like cross dressing is the issue for me. That like you know there are some people who I mean I don't need to tell you why it's a dumb idea to do it and why mm, it's offensive no. to a whole section of society. Um, totally. But even the pink portal bothers me. Yeah, it's just it's just icky. It is. It's icky. It, just, it kind it of ta- like the, it takes it's, you out of like the world of it for me like it reminds us yeah yeah, it's gross and it's also just like it it feels unchanged from season one like the same dumb shit they were doing then there's a lot of other things about the show that have progressed in terms of the competition but in terms of just the hijinks um the attitudes Mm. of season one are still there anyway let's see let's just keep watching and see if anything changes next season uh totally when lisa said brown chicken brown cow i had never heard that before had you she, I had not heard that in the moment. <laughs> this is the first was, time I've heard that. She was talking about like <laughs> making a sexy kind of a romantic environment. She was like brown chicken, brown cow, like um, oh, wow, wow. It's you know, like, like the, the musical. Wow, wow! I can't oh do it God. now. But I, but what is that like that? Um, the bum wow, 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 wow kind of thing. Hey? Yeah, yeah. But is that kind of like one of those little tricks, like a uh, space skittles? <laughs> space skittles. <laughs> It's exactly what it is. Brown chicken, brown cow. Are there any others? Cornies. Can you think of any other There's gotta cool, be some. cool oh, little um, cheat ways of doing things? If you say beer can, it makes you sound like you're saying bacon with a Jamaican accent. Beer can. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, eh? See, those are hijinks that you can do without cross-dressing. Oh, my God. That's so good. Ribs. If you're listening, oh, <laughs> so good. There've been some other oh, good moments from there was that John Key handshake, which they referenced, which I thought was really cool, especially because they're near Eden Park, which is, I believe, where the handshake happened. True. Um, Very good. You know, just these little moments that I'm taking away, and they're mostly coming from Lisa. To be fair, um, yeah, Lisa's a great character. What else? Oh, Ethan and Sam not knowing what contemporary means. That was great. Oh, when they got I the, love the, them. When they got the challenge for in farmers and they had to make room and their style That's of room right. was contemporary and they're like, what is that? Stop putting big words in front of us. And then they're like, <laughs> they have to Google it. And remember, I think last week I was saying that they're, um, they're like the dills and dills and the ling and zing sort, but they're like got, you know, they've got more brain cells to rub together. I have to control Z on that, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they might not have brains, but they've got a hell of a lot of heart. And they've got... That little card they made for... Um, oh. Sophia and Mikhaire. Bless them. Bless their hearts. Also, I know I keep talking about when Sophia was crying, but when she was <laughs> trying to drive to Racine and she kept getting lost and she was just sobbing in the car being like, I'm just going around in circles. It was the most relatable shit I've ever seen in my life. I didn't it. was see very it. raw dash camp What, what happened? Oh, I only great. watched like maybe a fifth of the last episode, so can you give me a quick rundown? Uh, it was just before they were like, she knew that they were going to have another block collective and it was going to be tense and, you know, she's had this whole thing that she thinks her opinion of everyone's changed. And she was driving around. She called Makaida, who said something that stressed her out. And then it's just that little, like, um, yeah, like the dash cam footage of her driving around, just sobbing. And, like, you can hear the GPS going. And she's like, I don't even know where I am. (laughs) I'm just driving around in circles. And it's just like, you know, when you're, like, so upset and you just can't. Figure and she's anything also out. the best thing. It was is very that there's raw. No one in the it. car with her. She's just talking to herself. Really, she's probably she's at this just point chatting. so in her own head that she can't. She's forgotten <laughs> there's a dash cam even there. It's real. That's yeah. why it's called reality TV, was, folks. Yes, okay. that's, that's why. You uh, and here. what was the cliffhanger? Um, I don't remember. 
It didn't. It didn't cliff. It didn't introduce the intruders. Like okay. it didn't say that that was going to happen at the end of the episode. That came in like a promo later, and right. I don't even think that's till Sun. It might be till Monday. But they had this. Did you see the second block collective where they kept going back and forth about? Oh yeah, you did because that was when they're all that shut up. No, that was the about first when the one. builders. Oh, when the builders come, they were trying to decide if it's like if Sophie Mackay there, because their new thing was like, oh, we now have to demo half the room as well. Yes, yeah. So that's going to put us at a disadvantage if we have to start the demo on Monday. Right. Which I'm also like, don't suddenly play the victim when this is something you have decided to do. Totally. You know, you can't be like, yeah. oh, it's not an even playing field. Yeah. Um, the others are basically up- like, you can do this. We're not yeah. really happy about it, but you can do this if you do this other thing. So it's basically that. If- that's the way that they can accept that deal or not. Mm. So they just have to... And then they're like, oh, but we need some more time to demo. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no, no oh. way, mate. No way in hell. Okay, so... But, yeah. Um, they ended with a big group hug, but... Not, not really, no very way. performative. Yeah. Very performative. <laughs> and I think they're all going to hate each other for the rest of the season. I hope I'm so. I hope so. <laughs> okay, time for the real review. I'm going to play the sting. This is great. Five out of five for me. This is great. Five out I'm of five. For me. I the the nicest of thing I'm even surprised that you remember the real review. If you asked know, me to do the real review sting, I couldn't remember any of it. What would you say? Yeah, well done. Anyway, um, you wanted me to real review Disneyland, specifically the Star Wars part. Okay. Well, is it great? Is it amazing? I've watched a lot of walkthrough vids. Oh God. Okay, that's a lot of pressure because we didn't do anything in the Star Wars part. We just wandered around what? and then left because. Because there's uh, only one children. ride open, and oh what? There's only one ride open in it yet. It's, it's oh, a work okay. in progress. So they've opened up the area, which is, by the way, very cool. I'm not really a Star Wars fan. My boys are Star Wars fans, but they don't. They're little. They don't really. They're kind of fans because their friends are. Um, mm. And it's cool. It's. I think if you're a hard out Star Wars person, gonna bloody love it. I'll tell you what I got really into though. Ca- yeah, Cars Land. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question language. about Cars Land. Yeah. When the cars, I've never actually even seen Cars. Would you believe it? I would. I, don't, look, I haven't are... seen it until I had children, and since then I've seen it so many times. Millions of times. It's probably <laughs> one of my most, most watched movie franchise. Whoa. Mm. When the cars are driving around the street, like through the civilians mm. of Disneyland, how does that work? Who's, is it like? Is it just like a big remote control car or is there a person inside it is it a real car i mean i feel like there's a person inside it i feel like it's not like a car like you and i know a car um you can't see through the windscreen but it's a bit like i think you know the giant characters who go around and by the way on very hot days wearing big bloody suits um Mm. you know you can't see where they're looking out of usually i guess like donald duck's mouth or whatever it's the same concept with the car they're looking out the windscreen. But I, it's like a one-way mirror. But the windscreen's mirror. covered up. Oh, yeah, but it's like a special special something. And they have people walk around God, with them magical. to kind of help crowd control. It's pretty cool, yeah. though. They so have cool. anyone who's watched Cars, which I know a few of you will have. <laughs> it's like an exact <laughs> replica of Radiator Springs. It's so cool. Anyway. Love it. Love it. Did you have any at Disneyland? Did you have Dole Whip? No, but... I really want to eat that. Well, we have annual passes, so we're going to go back. I want to go back without the children. Tell you what, here's a hot tip. If I come to LA, can I come as a child? As your child? No. No. Sorry. Well, I mean... No, but you can come as my friend. (laughs) (laughs) I will definitely shout you a ticket. Not an option. (laughs) Um, Don't take children to Disneyland. I know that flies in the face of everything that you think you know about what you should be doing when it comes to Disneyland. But you will enjoy it more without them. They are fuckers. They got so... I just... Mm. I don't know what it is about Disneyland or if it's just my children. They got so self-entitled. They just wanted everything. I want candy floss. Mm-hmm. I want churros. I want an ice cream. I want that toy. I want that toy. I want a photo with him. I want a balloon. And, and when there were three of them, they all wanted different things, wanted to go on different rides. We had to remove I mean, them I from the I mean, I can't promise... Park. I can't promise I would be any different if you took me to Disneyland. <laughs> but there's only one of you at least, right? <laughs> So I just, mm, you know, <laughs> it's not like, at least it's not like being pulled in three different directions. That's true. I did that when um, my parents took me to the Anaheim one when I was four and they waited for like two hours for the Dumbo ride. And then I got to the front and I went, fuck this, this looks scary. I want to go. <laughs> I was so annoyed. Wait, <laughs> and then that... I got lost. Oh, I got no. lost in Disneyland. And that was a huge drama. 
It's crazy. I wrote my um, gone, I wrote my phone number it. on everyone's arms so that if they got lost, someone that's could clever. call me. And I've had a few people on Instagram like, great idea, and now I've got your phone number. But that's fine. I mean, if yeah, you want true. to pay the international calling rates, go for it. I'd love to hear from you. You make it that lady, that lady from Australia might ring you next. Yeah, please do. <laughs> no one talks to me anymore. Okay, so uh, 10 out of 10 for Disney. Great. Love it. Do it. And Great. California Adventure. Definitely go. Did you try the, the um, Perky Nana lumps? Nah, they haven't come out yet. Oh. And we didn't get sent any PR ones because people hate us. Because <laughs> we don't get sent anything. <laughs> but I will be going to the supermarket July 1st and purchasing a bag. Can you send Rest me some? Assured. Would you send me some? Yeah. I would love to try some. Can we do that? Can we okay. review them? Can you send them to me? Oh, yeah, we'll wait. And we'll wait. I mean, it'll be way after the fact. <laughs> they're probably <laughs> the limited time for which they're available will probably be up. That's okay. That's the real pod way. It's fine. Yeah, it's worth it. Okay. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Shall we uh, step on over into the community notice board section? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. It's the community notice It's the community Close-ish. Close-ish. <laughs> hey, Jane, conducting I'm trying to conduct That was useful. Time. Okay. Okay. I'll... Are we going to play the new stings today? No. No. I don't know. No. Because we would have talked about it. I know this oh, is confusing, but don't worry. Don't worry. We're not Cornies, gird your loins. We have some <laughs> bloody good <laughs> new stings for this podcast, and they'll probably be coming next week. That is a cliffhanger if ever I've heard one. They're so amazing. I screamed when I opened that folder last night. Did you also scream you when that. you saw that Claire from Married at First Sight <laughs> New Zealand is hocking off her yes. lovely festive dinner set on the Manawatu Buy, Sell and Trade page? So good. Christmas dinner set times four. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, she has on, four, four lots of Four, lots four of sets of 12-piece festive dinner sets. $10 a pop. Well, buy, That's not bad. Hang on. Buy three, get one free. Buy all four, only 30 bucks. I just don't need that much festive dinner I can stuff. see why she's got four sets. Because they say it's a 12-piece set, but it's not a 12-sitting set. So for that 12-piece set, it's only for four people, you see. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. I see yeah. What so you if mean. you've got... She's, but why is she selling it? Christmas is every year. Uh, she, she perhaps she's upgraded. I also, so. why has she put um, some platters on top there? It looks like they're for sale, and they're not. They're not part of the sale. Yeah, true. And what's God, that in I the love corner? Reality what's that in the corner? Selling stuff. Have you zoomed in on that? What is that? It's like a teddy a bear. bear. There's a teddy bear. Oh, it's a couple of little teddy bears. It's an ornament. Cute. So anyway, I, I don't know. It. Do we have any update on that? Is it sold? Do we know anything? I don't know the I don't know the current status. I'm not in the Manawatu buy sell trade, but it's bloody exciting to see Clear Bear. It is. God, the things those dinner plates might have that, seen. Is that museum worthy? Probably not. No, eh? definitely not. Mm. Um, <laughs> I do think that reality TV stars selling things should be a segment on the on the podcast though, because it's starting to happen a lot more often. There's an air of desperation about it. Is there? Yeah. I'm into it. I've seen a lot of Porty. Porty is shifting units constantly on Facebook. Like, What's I think it's because he moves around a lot. Beds, bed bases, Mexican rugs. Does he have What's any Burning Man merch? Oh, it's crazy. Um, I mean, maybe you can inquire. Is he still with What's Make Her Face off The Bachelor? Bachelor? The, like, the girl that he was seeing who? Oh, no, I don't think no. so. Okay. Sad. Okay, here's so. Colin's cranny. Let's get in there. Colin's cranny. Colin's cranny. Colin's cranny. Colin's cranny. Oh, cranny. God damn it. Oh. Oh, See, no. we've got a delay as well with I our know. video. So oh, I'm so sorry. Nightmare. Hey, Nightmare. big big news. Big news in the crane this week. Huge though. news. Um, Colin is a guest agony aunt for Metro Magazine. This is great. And Anything that gets Colin Mathura Jeffrey back into mainstream media regularly, so we've been trying for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, look, I, I read his, I read his, uh, it was very, very good. It's very well written, incredibly long. Did you read it? Hold on a minute. Has he done one? There's one already. already. I don't think he's, mate. No, 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 no. I don't think he's, he hasn't done one. He hasn't done one yet. They only announced him 24 hours ago. Well, what did I see then? You're probably reading just there. Metro's Dear Metro, 
um, weekly thing is so good. I believe it's been written by their um, by Tess Nicol up until this point, the, the, the Colin takeover. The last one that she wrote was about um, people in those kind of weird, kind of borderline pyramid schemes on Facebook. Is that the one that you read? Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, I Multi-level did. marketing company, yeah. sorry. Yeah. It's a really great, it's the best That's the one that Colin. I read, and I was like, that is well written, Colin. But it wasn't Colin. Yeah. Okay, it's Probably. just that there was a link to it, that was all. Right. Okay, uh, well, that's confusing. fine. I'll tell you what, though. Um, he better write as good as that. Yeah, he <laughs> otherwise better. I've, otherwise, I've just bloody uh, oversold him. Never I? I hope they don't. I hope they don't sub him too much and get rid of all his like ellipses that he likes to use at the end oh, of every yeah. single sentence. Oh, oh, I hope they keep the Colin the Colin flavor. There's a new tweet up since I since I last looked. There's on a new Twitter. tweet. Let me have a look. Oh, hang on. Oh, my my bloody internet's on the fritz. No. God damn it. Okay, but let's just quickly talk about the fact he's into almond milk now, and he needs recommendations on cereal to go with the almond milk. So is he having like a dairy free moment? I don't because know. Because famously last week he had the dairy free Magnum and enjoyed it in the spitting rain. Was that a dairy free Magnum? Yeah, remember he said ve- all like the vegan. Oh God! Yeah, I, don't, I, I mean, I'm I wasn't sure really was. focusing like, on the pretty, the snack. I was just. It's pretty good. Oh. I think I think he's having a dairy free. This is my read on it. Um, Oh, he's sorry. He's not an agony, agony, agony uncle. He's called himself agony uncle. Okay, yeah. that, that's the new. I haven't seen that gif that he's posted, which is him doing kisses to the camera. Um, <laughs> I'm no fan of milk for anything, but I've gotten into almond milk. So, what's a good yummy fiber cereal that's not a slide into diabetes? That's the tweet. Fiber cereal. Yeah, there's a few clues. We'll get you in bloody. There. What's those? Um, Brand. All brand, all brand, Sultana brand, all brand. brand. I think it's interesting uh, that he's you starting know, with know. the milk and now he's looking for the cereal. Usually, usually it's the other way around. I know. Ah, oh, he's just the best. He wants some he's cereal to match his best. milk. I love it. Okay, that's um, that's our that's the. Cranny. I feel like Metro should reverse it and do. Colin's got a problem. The people of Auckland sort him out. Yeah, he needs a good cereal. People who better to provide that than Metro Magazine? They should just. Printer's tweets. Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Max Key Corner, are you ready for it? You're going to time it? Are you going to try and sing? you got to conduct me. Okay, okay, here we go. Don't lead me down the garden path, Jane. <laughs> Max Key Corner. Max Key Corner. Like Christian yeah, right. Bale having a freak out on the set of Terminator 4. I even accidentally <laughs> smashed the microphone. Apologies for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, we totally ruined Max Key Corner theme song, but don't worry. I'm telling you, next week, next week, you've got to tune in. Next week. You're going to You're going to be gonna spoiled. die, guys. Like, you have to come back. Okay. Please come back. I've noticed a trend on Max, Max Key's Instagram. He has at least one bare chest photo per Insta line. Like, he's cracked the code. Oh, yeah. True. You're not wrong. I know. It's kind of like a thing that he's been doing as of like maybe only the last six or seven lines or something. But he's consistently wonder, got at least one BTS photo. They do better. They run better numbers. They run better numbers. Yeah. Shirtless pics. Of course. Just having a wee yeah. look now. This is, this is not, you know, it's not rocket science. He's a mogul. He, um, he's got a new bio. Perception is reality. That's actually been there a while, KC, I'll have you know. Oh, has yeah, it? Yeah, it has. I haven't noticed. Um, How's he get to do that special font? I don't know how anything oh, works there's, on Instagram. There's sites, where you can, there's sites where you can do that. But also, oh God. I feel like it's, that's a hat tip to us. I think so too. Perception is reality. Yeah. Don't you think? He'll never think communicate to is. us, you know, by any normal means. But I do think that he's communicating to us. He's made the reality as well bigger. Yeah. Like it's a bigger font yeah. size and it's bold. Yeah. I think he's, and he's just trying to tell us he loves us. He swam with a pod of sharks the other day. I know that's not the, cre- the correct terminology, but I'm just thinking like Max Key. Maybe getting things <laughs> slightly wrong, you know? <laughs> like the demise of the internet. He looks like he's having such a good time. So he is I saw on his time. Instagram story, I think he's in Greece at the moment, and he was at a bar and... They were doing body shots, and my my garment looked raunchy. <laughs> my gum? <laughs> I can't believe it. It was like whipped cream 
all over the shop. He was having L- ladies lying down on a bar. He was having a craziness. hard out, eat, pray, love time. Isn't yeah, it? he's loving it. Bless him. Um, oh, has, I haven't watched his stories lately. Oh, this is him. Oh, yeah, he's in Greece. Here we go. I'm watching it now. P- the people at home can hear it. Oh, God, they're downing the shots. He's got so many. He's made so many new friends. Look he's made so many new friends. Oh. And yet still nothing for the real pod. <laughs> oh, now they're singing, they're singing along to um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, oh it was great. before that. Yeah. Might have timed out I think on I, it. Missed, I missed, I missed the body shots, but I saw the party, eh? Let me tell you that. That would have been edited out of bloody Love Island at 5 p.m., let me tell you that, for free. Uh, he's, he's been in New York City, by the way. And he wants to live there one day. So just letting you know that he may leave our shores permanently at some point to become the citizen of the world that he was always destined to be. <sighs> he is just wholesome, eh? Like, his thing from Times Square, this place is 100% lived up to the hype, was sick seeing so many familiar sights from TVs and movies. <laughs> like, do you know what? I, <laughs> I just love it. That's very him. relatable, and it's also very true. I remember the first time I came to LA, I was like, this is nothing like the movies. It's dusty and concrete and yuck. And then I went to New York. I was like, this is exactly mm. like the movies. They even had like the steam coming out of the vents in the street and stuff. It's very cool, which oh is why God. Max wants to live there. And so we're all going to have to Get relocate to New York in time. And you're, you're, you're halfway there. I'm nearly there. Basically. Just a short <laughs> domestic flight where you can take chicken, hot chicken on the plane uh, away. Hey. Do they have Nando's in New York? They, uh, I don't Surely. know about you. I definitely know they have it in Chicago. And I'm Shut hoping down. to visit Chicago sometime in the next few months. Um, so Maybe you and Max could meet up Yeah, I mean, he's never replied one time to any of my messages, but that's okay, I'm sure. But Jane, perception is reality. That's true. I've got to just make it, I've got to believe it to be true. Anyway, it's been a long pod, so um, we should probably... <laughs> We should probably go. Let's wrap this puppy up. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up in some uh, cactus wallpaper. And <laughs> chuck it in the bin. Chuck it in the bin. <laughs> we'll catch you guys next week. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Tina. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, for Jane. Remember to like and subscribe you, and Tina. give us a review. Um, there's like sounds from my phone coming through onto the podcast record. Uh, apologies about oh. that. That's all right. That's real life. Okay. In all right. Bye. Bye. My Skype's just gone. Poor connection, poor connection, just now. Kia ora, I'm Alex Casey, senior writer at The Spin-Off. We wouldn't exist without the ongoing support of our generous members. If you're able to, you can make a donation at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. Kia ora e te iwi, te Ahe Butler here, podcast manager at The Spinoff. If you enjoy listening to our podcasts, consider supporting our mahi by signing up to become a Spinoff member at thespinoff.co.nz slash donate. The Spinoff Podcast Network.